great song to listen to. The words translate a little weird, so um, bear with me. So, Birds flying high, you know how I feel. <laughs> Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifted on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, a new day, a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. Uh, this was a, from a 1964 rendition of Feeling Good um, by Nina Simone, and those lyrics are truly this man's philosophy. Um, this very special man overcomes a daily defeat of multiple sclerosis and is my constant reminder of why life is good. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you to Stanley Satoski, um, which is my best friend's dad. Uh, he's inspired me through his perseverance, through his struggle, his optimism, um, and his outlook on life, and truly his strength as a father and a role model for his family. Uh, Stan the man is uh, who I consider like my second dad, and he truly influences me in multiple ways. So while he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, before the time that me and Katie became friends, um, I've been there to witness his perseverance through this struggle. And while MS limits his mobility greatly, um, he never lets that hinder his awesome personality. He's like the coolest man ever <laughs> and the most easygoing um, person you'll meet. He's concerned with everyone else having a good time rather than, you know, how he suffers. Uh, I've been there to see how his days are altered by the things he can and cannot do. And you know, everyone who has to step up to the plate in place of him. And, but he never lets that defeat him. Never lets a day go by without a smile and I find that really admirable. Um, he still cooks dinner for his wife every night, um, takes his dog Buttercup for a walk daily, goes to the grocery store every Saturday afternoon, makes apple boilo for every special occasion, and even makes it up to South Bend, Indiana for those Notre Dame games. And as sad and as sorry as we can feel, as we all feel, I know most of my friends um, were so close to Stan in such a special way, uh, we can't help but find joy in the joy that he sees towards, towards life. And a quote by William Wallace truly encompasses his perspective and why I feel Stan lives life to the fullest. Um, it's short and sweet, but every man dies, but not every man lives. Also famously known from a Drake song. Um, Stanley has influenced me to be an optimistic person and have a strong perspective on my future. He rides around in his little red scooter, but uh, he carries nothing but a smile and motivation and never ashamed to ask for a helping hand. Um, he's taught me to appreciate life as a gift, uh, how to worry less and enjoy and enjoy more. When my friends and I pull up to Katie's house, we're always expecting him to be doing something crazy, but really crazy meaning normal. Um, whether it's you know fixing his car or cleaning the pool or cooking something on the grill, like what's normal for us is really difficult for him. Um, so it brings a smile to our face immediately. And so the quote that I have isn't really from Stan, but from his daughter Katie, who I live with at school here. And uh, I asked her how his disability affects her life in particular. She said, I wouldn't be the person I am today if he didn't struggle. Um, I had to step up at such a young age, um, younger than most girls, to help my mom and sister do the things that he couldn't do. And I truly believe that it's because of his struggle and this disease that it brought our family closer together and it makes me who I am. So Katie's dad lives every day like nothing's wrong. Uh, he's proved his strength as a father and a role model for uh, his family and friends. And the ability to be that strong-willed provider and supporter still is what inspires us. And everyone, you know, like I had said, steps up when the time needed, but uh, he's never ashamed to ask for that helping hand. We've all been best friends since we were around 14 years old. and. Uh, it's because of her dad that she shows such a compassion um, for our relationship and while uh, we've lasted this long and hopefully it'll be a lifetime. It's his values that were instilled upon her as, uh, as well as all, all of us. Um, my most <laughs> valuable memory with Stan was when I went to Katie, Katie's older sister's wedding and um, saw him walk her down the aisle. I think that was the most moving and emotional slash inspiring moment um, of my life so far. I look up to Stan for his um, harsh disability, transforming it into a beautiful perspective of life. So every day that I'm affected by Stan and his disability, um, I'm also welcomed by his heartwarming philosophy. I know that as I endure my next struggle and you know I keep positive and sort of appreciate um, my family in particular, 
like Katie admires hers, um, I know that it's through perseverance, optimism, and strength why Stanley is my constant reminder why life is good. <laughs>